In this class now, let's now talk about your shadow fighters, which are your algae and your fungi. Don't forget that we, first of all, this is a series we classify plants based on botanical classification. And we said we have the schizophyta, which are the bacteria, right? And when we talk about the talophyta, which are your algae and fungi, we we'll talk about your bryophyta. We we'll talk, we said we have your teridophyta and we have the smatophyta. We have talked about schizophyta in the first class. Now, which is our lesson three. This is lesson four. We we're going to be talking about your what your talophyta, that's your algae and fungi. First, what can you see? The one that is green is called your algae. So algae are chlorophyllous. They are green. But this one that is not green is, is a mushroom. It's called your what? Your fungi. So take the difference between your algae and your fungi. Now let's enter the class. What is a talophyte? Because both of them are called talophytes. I'll start by telling you that the word talophyte is gotten from two words. Number one, we have what we call your talos. Your talo, mini talos. And your phyter, talking about what plant. We say that the study of plant can also be called phyter. That's why we have your Schizophyta, talophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta, spermatophyta, very phyta, phyta, phyta is plant. Do you understand that? Now, if you say you understand that, take note that what are talophytes? These are plants whose body are made up of talos. First of all, we say that talophytes go from two words, talo meaning talos, and phyta plants. So, talophytes are plants in which their body is made up of talos. So, the question is, what does the word talo mean? Take note that talos are non-vascular plants. The word non-vascular means they don't have true tissues. So we can say they are non-vascular plant that is not differentiated into true tissues. That is, they don't have true roots, they don't have true stem, they don't have true leaves. Any plant that does not have a true root, does not have a true stem and a true leaves, is said to have what we call the word, is said to be non-vascular. And, the, and such plants are talus plants, and we can call those plants talophytes. So the word talophytes is got from two words, talus and phyta. These are plants in which their body is called talus. Why the word about two words talus means? It means that they don't have true tissues. Because they don't have true tissues, you say they are non-vascular plants. When we say they are non-vascular plants, they don't have true roots, true stem and true leaves, true stem, true root and true leaves. Please, who are your talophytes? They are plants that do not have true root, true roots, true stem and true leaves. They are said to be called Talos, hence the word was talophyte. Do you understand that? Now, what's the classification of talophyte? I'll tell you that talophytes are divided into two. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek, everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLifts app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. Number one, we have those of them that are chlorophyll or that have chlorophyll, they are called the algae. Why those of them that lack chlorophyll, they are called the word fungi. Now, let's have a look at it. The ones that, this, both of them are talloid plants. But these ones have chlorophyll. You can see, if you have chlorophyll, you'll be green. If you lack chlorophyll, you will not be green. So these ones are called your algae. These are called your what? Fungi. So we can define that algae is simply, what's an algae? An algae are, algae are all talloid chlorophyll bearing organisms. Look at, first they are talloid. Now they don't have true root and stem. But what type of talloid are they? They are chlorophyll bearing talloids. What are algae? Algae are all talloid chlorophyll bearing organisms. All talloid chlorophyll bearing organisms. All talloid. Listen to me. When you get to the university, it's the same thing. The reason why I can teach biology like this is because I've taught 100 level, I've taught 200 level, I've taught many good students. Have you seen that? So understand it. When you know it, you are good in the university, you are good. So talloid, uh, algae are talloid chlorophyll bearing water organisms. What are now fungi? They are talloid too, but they are not chlorophyllous. Look at it. Fungi are talloid non-chlorophyll bearing organisms. The difference between them is that both of them are talloid talloid, but one has chlorophyll, the other one lacks chlorophyll. So they ask you, uh, for, uh, talloid non-chlorophyll organism, just tell them fungi. But they ask you, talloid chlorophyll bearing organism, tell them your word, your ID. Do you understand that? Let's strike the jam pass question, jam 1988 question three. The question says that the term talophyte refers to option A, C, fence and moss. B said algae and fungi. C talk about moss and about what? D talk about fungi and fence. Of course, your uh, your talophytes are your what? Algae and fungi making option B 
to become the word answer. And nothing to know about Agi and Funga. I hope you know that Agi and Funga are collectively called Lichen. Agi and Funga are collectively called your word, your Lichen. Take note, Agi and Funga are collectively called your Lichen. There are a lot of past questions in note, but this class was just trying to classify what a Dalophyte is. And we're going to talk more in the next class. So go through the notes. Practice in meeting and what tell the friend. Always tell the friend about the learn lift up. If you say you understand that in the next class, we're going to focus on just your agi. So talophyte, what type of talophyte agi? And that is going to be our lesson five. And they are the green bat plants, right? So we'll talk about your spider rigida. We'll talk about your climate dominance. This class is very short. I'll see you in the next class. But for now, peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the learn lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.